আসসালামু আলাইকুম एवरीवन আই এম মোহাম্মদ আবিদ হোসেন আই এম এ স্টুডেন্ট অফ ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ ফার্মেসি ডেফোর ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ইউনিভার্সিটি টুডে ইন মাই ক্লাস আই উইল ডেসক্রাইব অ্যাবাউট জিন থেরাপি সো ফার্স্ট অফ অল হোয়াট ইজ জিন জিন দ্যাট ইজ আ বেসিক ইউনিট অফ आवर হেরিটি এন্ড ইট ইনকোড হাউ টু মেক প্রোটিন এন্ড ডিএনএ হোয়েন ট্রান্সক্রিপ্টেড টু আরএনএ এন্ড আরএনএ দেন ট্রান্সলেটেড টু দ্য প্রোটিন so uh, we all know that the protein that carry out most of our life function right um, when the altered cause the dysfunction of any kind in protein the dysfunction of protein leads to diseases and when uh, in these types of things there is a mutation in the gene the genetic disorder is occurs so uh, if we consider uh, now the genome genome that is an organism to complete sets of dna it includes all of its genes the genetic disorder genetic disorder that occurs when a mutation or any kind of change that is harmful to our gene that causes the presence of variants affects you our gene and when we have the wrong amount of genetic materials so there are several kinds of gene problems related diseases like uh, hemophilia cystic fibrosis thalassemia etc so our main focus as the dna mutation that types of dna mutation so types of dna mutation there is four types of generally uh, dna mutation like point mutation somatic mutation germline mutation and primitive mutation so point mutation this indicates the three types if we um, in the picture there is a four types right here three types is belongs to the point mutation and another one is for compared with no mutation types of genes if we call the germline mutation and somatic mutation uh, for germline mutation uh, the mutation happens in our is from our gametes and when it became the entire organism will carry the mutation but in somatic mutation it occurs in the embryo a uh, specific portion of embryo and then the we can see here in the whole organism it not carry the uh, mutation as like the germline mutation so fancy mutation is a types of mutation uh, that is a uh, any kinds of addition or deletion uh, deletion is happens so uh, one or more nuclear nucleotide is called a shift in the reading frame that in the protein of mrna and which leads to the alternative to the amino acid sequence and protein transcription so here you can see uh, a picture that is a um, cgg protein 5 that happens as arginine but when uh, deletion is happened it converts to the glutamate because uh, this one is transferred to the previous one and is called as the gag and that also responsible for glutamate so previously we see about the arginine in protein 5 but after friendship mutation it just became the glutamate so uh, if this types of disease happens our main things that is uh, gene therapy so what is gene therapy <clears throat> it's a therapy that's rely on the medical field like that focus on the genetic modification of cells to produce a therapeutic effect a new dna that usually contain the functional gene to correct the effects of the disease causing the mutation here you can see a uh, picture the cell is non functioning gene here you can see it's cross sign but when we add a dna that contain the functional version of the lost gene like this one is a functional version of this lost gene and when it introduced in our cell that the cell become the functional normal so how does gene therapy works uh, summarize things like a uh, vector delivers the therapeutic gene into a patient target cell the target cell become infected with viral vector here you can see that and uh, uh, here you can see the target cell is affected or infected with viral vector that is a vector and the vector genetic material is inserted into the target cell and genetic material this one and here you can see the genetic material is inserted into the target cell and the functional protein are created from the therapeutic gene causing the cell to return to the normal stage <coughs> is just a uh, example of it so uh, gene therapy based cell types uh, if we uh, previously we can uh, see um if you know the uh, germline mutation and somatic mutation so gene therapy can be classified into two types also based on the cell that are being treated like uh, uh, germline therapy and somatic therapy so in germline therapy we need to give our gene therapy into the embryo and then when we treat it the embryo and full human body 
is not containing uh, the mutation. So it's uh, one approach and the somatic gene therapy. Here, the embryo is uh, all over okay. Uh, is a specific portion that contains the mutation and our human body specific site uh, being mutated uh, for as the embryo is mutated in a specific site. So we can use our gene therapy in the specific portion of human body. So here we can see that in the specific portion we added our gene therapy. So gene therapy approach, uh, several types like uh, our basic approach of gene therapy, um, like in vivo, in vitro, and in situ. Uh, if, uh, if this is a common thing that uh, what is the difference between ex vivo and in vivo? Ex vivo is like that uh, we need to remove our cell and it need to be genetically modified and then transplanted and back into the patient body. And in vivo, that is direct transfer of genetic material into the patient body. So uh, here we can see. Uh, difference that is uh, ex vivo and in vivo. Uh, genetic, uh, the gene therapy refers to the process where the targeted cell are removed and genetically altered outside of the body and before transplanting them back in. Here you can see like that we need to take out a cell, then it should be genetically modified and then again it transfers to the human body. But in vivo, we need to directly transfer our kinds of modification directly to the human body or patient body. Here, the most common thing that is uh, in situ. In situ, that is a uh, very much a uh, vector is placed directly into the affected tissue. It can be in our heart, it can be in our brain or any other parts of our body. Okay, finally, the gene therapy approach in vitro. So in vitro is the most common approach, okay? And the in vitro approach involves the initial removal of targeted cell. Here, you can remove our targeted cell. Then it need to be altered with virus in laboratory, and then a uh, gene is in, uh, need to be inserted into the virus, and the altered virus is mixed with the cells from the patient, and then the cell from the patient it become genetically altered. And finally, the altered cells are injected into our patient body, and the genetically altered cell are produced the desired protein right here. You can see that. So this is all about the in vitro process. Now, what is in situ approach, right? Uh, in in situ approach, uh, previously I said that uh, we can directly apply the treatment in our body, like in brain, in eyes, in kidney, in bones, in heart, like that. So, what is the in vivo gene therapy? In in vivo gene therapy, that is the uh, involved the utilization of vector capable of recognizing and binding only the specific site. Okay, so. <clears throat> When we apply our therapeutic DNA to the directly to the patient body, it found the specific site. When it found the specific site, only then it can bind and then it give its function. Or if we say that is in vivo approach is very much site specific for that, the most successful approach that is the in vivo approach um, among the three different types of approaches. So there is several types of gene delivery system as well as the viral mediated gene delivery system and non-viral mediated gene delivery system. Uh, in viral mediated gene delivery system, the adeno associated virus use also retrovirus, lentivirus, and uh, adenovirus. And uh, if we see the non-viral mediators like silver, gold, liposome, silica, carbon nanotubes, and hybrid vector use. Non-viral mediated gene therapy, uh, here is the one of the most important thing that is a pegylation method. Why pegylation method that is important for protein drug delivery? Because pegylation that contains hydroxyl group and it enhances the solubility. We all know that a hydroxyl group that are capable to enhance the solubility. And when the solubility increases, the distribution also increases in, uh, throughout our body. And although it, as it is uh, synthetic, uh, it also bypasses our immune response. So normal cell cytoplasm pH and cancerous cell cytoplasm pH is different. That's why pegylated liposome is specifically targeted to the cancer cell as uh, they can uh, find out the uh, pH specific site as our normal cell pH and cancer cell pH is not similar. So it can found the cancer cell pH and then it can bind and found the targeted site and give its target, uh, targeted delivery. So there are uh, different types of problems with gene therapy like uh, that is short lip uh, and immune response can be happen. Um, as it is a viral vector, uh, there are several types of toxic and immuno inflammatory response can be happen. And uh, multigen disorder like um, heart disease, high blood pressure, Alzheimer's, arthritis, and diabetes are hard to treat with this type of therapy. The gene therapy that replaces the faulty gene and adds a new gene, right? Previously, I said that 
it an attempt to cure the disease and improve our, our body's ability to fight our disease. And gene therapy that promise for the treating a wide range of diseases such as cancer, cystic fibrosis, heart disease, diabetes, hemophilia, and AIDS as well. But specifically, it's very much important for the cancer's treatment. So it's all about my today's presentation. Yeah. Thank you, everyone.